In this video, I'm going to talk about XML transformation task, which is nothing but XSLT. We can use XSLT to transform the XML data. We can convert uh, the data from one format to another format. For example, you receive a file, XML file, and you, need, and you need, needed to convert that into different XML file format. We can use XSLT there or you receive XML data and you wanted to show the XML data on a HTML page. You can use XSLT operation. There are many, many reasons why we needed to use XSLT. Even in the earlier videos, we needed to strip out multiple namespaces in the XML file. We use X XSLT operation there. Here in this video, we are going to specifically talk about XSLT. Let's create a package. Rename the package as XML XSLT. Drag the XML task under the designer window. Double click on that. Here, operation type XSLT. We needed to specify the XML file, the XSL file, and the output XML file, output uh, file connection. It could be XML or it could be anything. Okay. We needed XSL here. How we want to transform the data. That language instructions we needed to specify in XSL file and that XSL file we needed to specify here. Okay. In this example, I'm going to take popular uh, Microsoft uh, example, which is uh, Hello World. XSLT Hello World. Okay. I'm going to take this example. In this example, we are going to take the XML file, the data from the XML file, and display the information on the HTML page. Okay, we have two pieces of information: an XSLT programmer saying "Hello world." These two information we need to show on the HTML page. So we need to convert the XML file into HTML file. Okay, we can use the XSL file here that they mentioned okay there are two nodes greater and greeting okay and in the XSL file as you can see the template matches from hello world this is the this is that node okay and after that this is just plainly displaying that information and in the header tag HTML header tag we are going to display the value from the XML file using the XSL language so here here I'm saying value of the greeting node so this node the value of this node will be substituted here okay and in the div tag here we are going to use another template XSL template so here little down as you can see in this this in this template we are going to use the div tag so greater value will be inserted here so whole this complete template will be sub substituted here at the end of the XSLT operation in SSIS we will see the, the complete HTML instructions, HTML tags. Okay. So let us create a XSL file and XML file from this example. Copy this content. Create XML file here. Okay. 
okay now we we need to create the access cell file so copy the code create access cell file So we created XSL file here. Let's go to SSIS package. And here we need we need to specify the XML file. Okay, and the XSL file, so specify the file. XSL file. Okay, and we need to specify the output. Save operation result. Yes. And the file connection HTML. And we are going to create new HTML file. Okay, override destination true. Here we are using the XSLT operation. We are converting the XML file into HTML file using the XSL operations, XML language. Sorry, XSLT language. Okay, say okay. Save it and run the package. Okay the HTML file is created let's double click on that okay you got the output so let us see what it created in the HTML file what contents are there right click on that in the header tag it copied the hello world node the value of hello the the greeting and the greater node value is substituted here in the div tag okay that's pretty much it